What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got three-leg parlay for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. Here, Pete Dawson, we got the most repeat videos out of anyone. So click that subscribe button, drop a like. It helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, picks like the most, picks that I buy myself personally, go to PeteDawson.com. Click the premium pick section or click the link in the description in this video. You'll find all my plays there. All righty, guys. We got this match between the Maz versus the T-Wheels going down tomorrow. You know, I, I live in Denver, Colorado. I'm not a Nuggets fan. I'm a Magic fan, but... I did want the Nuggets to, to get back to the finals. The city's better when, when we're winning championships. So this, uh, when I see this match between the Mavs and the T-Wolves, it kind of stings a little bit because the Nuggets had that game in the bag. And if the Nuggets would have won that, the Mavs just matched up terribly with the Nuggets. So I feel like we would have been to another finals. It is what it is, though. Um, this is going to be a good matchup. For the first leg of this parlay, I'm going to roll with the under in this game. While I'm recording this, it's set at 207.5. Look, we all know the Minnesota Timberwolves were under machine this season. They allowed the fewest points per game to opposition this season. They had the best defense. So I think this is going to be a scrappy game. I don't see the Mavs scoring over 100 points in this game. I really don't. And then the t Wolves. I don't know. They, they play at a slower pace. They're not like the Pacers who run it up and down the court. I, I like the under in this spot. I think it's going to be a... A gritty game, you know, game one of the Western Conference Finals. There may be some nerves. Could see a slow start. I'm loving the under in this spot. Next, for the next leg, I'm looking at, uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, Josh Green. Josh Green has made it to our parlay. Could you believe that, guys? And we're going to go over half a three for Mr. Green here. He's juiced up to minus 185, but I like it. He's hit a three in... Eight straight games, and he's hitting a three at a 90% in his last 10. Before that, he really wasn't a three-point threat in the regular season. Not that much. But lately, in, this, in these playoff series, he's been banging threes. And, I mean, let, let's stick with the trend here, guys. Let's see. How many attempts has he had? Yeah, so he's averaging 3.7 attempts in his last 10 games. It's not bad. If they're going to give me this line, I'm going to take it any day of the week. You guys know I like these half three-point lines. Um, when a guy's hitting like 90 at a 90% clip in his last 10, they're using him on the three point line. They're using them, on, using them on the perimeter. And, you know, I think this Mavs team, they're going to have t trouble scoring in the paint. So I think some of these guys um, are going to have to shoot threes like PJ Washington, Josh Green. I think we see some green, uh, some, some threes here. So for the second leg, give me Josh Green over half a three. Last but not least. I said I was going to stop doing Yerfies and Nerfies uh, for these parlays because it's just a cop-out since I do a whole video series about this, uh, about these. But I like this Nerfie so much that I had to throw it in. It's the Tigers versus the Royals. We got Scooball on the mound for the Tigers and Reagan's on the mound for the Royals. So my thought process here is the Royals aren't going to score against Scooball. Not in the first three innings. The Royals are one of the best Nerfie teams in the league. The Nerfie is 29-17. and 17 for the Royals so far this season. And now they get to go against Scooball, who's basically the best damn pitcher in the league um, so far. 1.80 ERA. He's basically been, he's not been flawless, but he's been pretty damn good. On the other side, Reagan's gets to start for the Royals. 3.70 ERA. I actually expect him to be a little bit better this season, but I think this kid has a lot of talent, and I think he's able to get three outs for us. So I'm going to take my chances with the Nerfie in this one. That's going to do it, guys. Let's recap this parlay. Leg one. Dallas versus T-Wolves, give me the under 207.5. Late two, give me Josh Green over half a three. Late three, Tigers versus the Royals, give me the Nerfie. That's going to do it. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to follow my handicap career, <clears throat> woo, handicap career more closely, you can follow me on Instagram at Brad Wins Bets. Post all my wins and losses there, my Pitos content, other free picks. It all funnels back into there, but most importantly, subscribe to Pitos on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.